What's up YouTube? What's up fish lovers? Um, this video is just an update of this big guy right here. This is Copper and he is a Jardinia Ruana. Um, I got him when he was like 3 or 4 inches and that was last June. The first video I have of him is like around June 8th or June 20th. So either of those two are the first video that I have of him. And right now today is um August um August 31st. So it's been 2 months since I have this guy right here. And he has grown significantly fast. Um, before anyone gives me a bad uh, or bash me about the size of this tank, this is just a 20 gallon grow tank for this one. Um, he's got a 180 gallon tank waiting for him. And I can't blame people if they're gonna bash me about that but I'd rather wait for the tank to finish cycling before I move him because I don't want him to die in there I don't want to give him a, I don't want to shock him and uh, I don't want to shock his system when he goes to a very high ammonia high nitrate environment when he's doing really good here and it's only gonna be a few more weeks before he moves there anyway so um yeah um this guy eats very well his favorite food is still the blood worms he still goes crazy on that i just finished he, uh feeding him um um krill uh frozen krill and he likes that as well not as much as the blood worms though because like when you drop blood worms in his water like he just darts for it he just chases that and he doesn't get that same excitement with the frozen krill but he also likes the market prawn but like his still favorite is still the blood worms and um, right now he's approximately six or seven inches long um, I think that's common with um, predator fishes their first few months they're gonna grow really fast and then they're gonna eventually slow down um, he's very active um, there's some growth of algae on the plants right there at the back but nothing really to worry about because like the I regularly clean his tank and uh, I would take away uneaten food particles in here um, he used to like pellets but eventually I don't know what happened but like he just started spitting it out so I haven't really tried giving him pellets again just because I don't wanna do extra unnecessary cleaning you know so like I would give him the krill and how I would prepare that is I would thaw it out and then before I give it to him I would give him I would take out the head of the krill and also the legs and as well as the tail because those have sharp pointed um, armor in it and I don't want him to puncture his stomach but um, I like that his color is still as vibrant as before if you're gonna look at the if you're gonna look at him on a close-up let's see if I can focus on that you're gonna see that there's a lot of pink on his scales and the krill and the shrimps help in um, promoting that you know like I've talked on another video about the different factors that can affect a fish's color and the krill and the shrimp definitely helps 
bring out the color on this fish right here. Um, krill and shrimp especially good with the red tones on fishes. Um, if you have red colored fishes, um, the carotenoid on the shell of the, the shrimp, that is really helpful to bring out that red coloration. Um, I would give him market prawn as well and how I would do that is that I would like just take out the shell I would then cut it into like small bite-sized pieces that he can easily swallow and um, it's the same as with other food um, I take out all that is not eaten and I don't want to pollute the water here so I try I'm trying to keep it clean so yeah I would take that out um, another thing that I've noticed with him is that he does get really scared sometimes and I think it's normal just because if you're gonna look at this particular tank there's not really any hiding spot in here and the sand coloration is also really bright it's white so any fish would feel more exposed in this environment so also this is a big fish in a really small tank right now and um, he doesn't have any swimming spaces so for him to escape a predator uh, that's me because he sees me as a predator also sees me as a source of food but like most of the time he sees me as a predator especially after I got home from work and I would greet him and he would just get go crazy um, all in all he's doing really good like he's really active right now he's just very curious about the camera I think more than anything because he usually is very active he would just swim around but like um, when I got here to take the video he just starts checking the camera out I don't know but you can see the red the pinkish spots under on the scales right now and he's looking really good um, I don't have any issues of him jumping yet but you know like eventually when he moves to the bigger the bigger tank um, he might do it because that's how they are in the wild but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put I'm pretty sure I'm going to put very good cover for that one so that he won't jump because they are really good jumpers and yeah this is the third month update of this handsome fish right here I'm not even sure if he's a female or a male right now I'm still reading on that but like eventually I'll figure it out so I think with the uh, it's not the same with other kinds of fish because other fishes would really show the female and male characteristics but not much with arowanas um, all I know is that arowanas the male in particular have like a bigger body but he's still young so I really can't he's not really sexually matured yet so it's really hard for me to tell um, they have like white they have um w more rounded face as well like especially the bottom part because arowanas are mouth brooders so they the male would usually scoop the eggs out and it would keep them in its mouth for a few weeks before it develops into little fries so they can just swim um, yeah so uh, I'm not sure if anyone knows if it's if this is a male or a female let me know in the comment section and if you haven't checked out my other videos yet go ahead and um, go check it out I, oops <laughs> I think it's getting bored of me talking here but um, yeah go ahead and check out my videos he has videos there when he was still younger I there's also videos of my other aquarium and uh, my other experiences with fish keeping 
um, don't be afraid to make any comments or suggestions and yeah uh, hit that subscribe button or like button or share this video and me and copper are saying fish out